we're going to look at five dominant clinch positions in Muay Thai. These are the positions you'll probably see the most in the sport. So let's get started with the first, the neck lock. This is your basic Muay Thai lock. This is what everyone thinks of when they think of the Muay Thai clinch and the Muay Thai uh, lock. This lock is basically about who has dominant position around the neck. Uh, you see red corner getting a nice lock around the head, clasping the hands together. There's different types of locks as well. Sometimes they will lock onto the wrist, sometimes onto the hand themselves. And then you see blue stalling. This situation happens a lot. Red has his hands very high and tries to drop them down to get that permanent lock, but doesn't get it. Then they are battling for that high position. Blue gets an equal lock. Then red turns the angle. It turns into a, a draw. This one is more of a classic Muay Thai clinch. You see red getting a very, very strong grabs around blue's neck and really drives in that knee. We'll slow it down the lock and you pull down on the neck to drive in the knee. Both of Red's hands are locked on Blue's neck, so it's very dominant. The upper body lock is more of a battle for position. Uh, sometimes the athletes will be able to get a good lock that just holds on to the upper body, but mainly it's more of a transition phase. I do think that is important to look at in terms of a clinch position, though. Red comes in and immediately tries for that neck, but mainly gets a hold of the upper body. The two are vying for position. Controlling the free arm, this outside arm, is very, very important. Also, they'll slide the arm up. And Blue momentarily has position and knees. We're going to replay that again slower. You see that classic lock there and then the successful knee. Red immediately goes for the neck, but has to settle for that upper body, tying up the blue's arm, trapping it for a moment. Then again, just vying for that neck, but mainly holding on to that upper body. This one is a very good lock. It's on the outside of the clinch position. You're basically framing your arms and holding them onto the biceps. We'll look at it right now. Red comes forward and locks onto the forearms of Blue, just framing there, locking onto them and striking to the knees. He's opening up space for elbows as well. Again, move forward, immediately lock onto the forearms and start striking to the body, trying to shift up, but really locking primarily onto the forearms, clinching into the inside of the elbows. This next position creates an uh, open side, and then a lot of times the head is pushed down towards that open side. We'll see it with Mung Tai. So blue corner moves in and immediately grabs, and you see him pressing the face and then trapping and bracing that free arm to create op an open side and kicking on the way out. Then again, pressing the face down towards that open side and elbowing his way out. The last one, he creates this open side and braces the arm holding onto it. The body lock is very effective at stalling. A lot of times if you are grabbing the lower part of the body, the referee will break it and will call it a foul, especially if you're trying to break the lower back. But in these examples, neither athlete does. Blue comes in, he's going to grab right under the armpits and lean his upper body in. Red is going to drop his weight to prevent the knees. He also uses his hands a little bit. But you see primarily, especially in this clip, Blue is heavy with the upper body and then strikes to the lower body primarily with those knees. And Red controls the arms. So in this one, red grabs low, but doesn't back break, doesn't break that lower back and continues to knee. They're able, red is able to get space to get knees up the middle, but mainly to the side. In the second clip, you see him trying to go for the side. Blue is effective with jogging and preventing those knees from effectively landing. So something that Muay Cal fighters, knee fighters need to do is walk forward. And a lot of times they take damage as they walk forward. So we'll look at a few examples of it and how possibly they can prevent damage from coming in. So 
Red comes in and very easily is damaged that push kick to the face and other attacks. Then they'll alter their steps. Sometimes they'll rush in to get in, uh, hide behind push kicks or other weapons. A lot of times the rhythm is very easy to see for the person on the back foot. So they'll be taking a lot of shots as they come in.